Hi and welcome to the Hot Pole Studios Speaker Shootout Series with me, Adam Steele. This series is going to go about as in-depth as we possibly can into comparing speakers, comparing microphones, comparing all sorts of combinations, as much as we can to give you the most detailed comparison that we can in a controlled environment with the same song every time, the same amp every time, the same settings to make sure that what you're hearing, as long as you have some frame of reference, should give you an accurate kind of representation of the sounds you can get so that you can decide based on that what it is that you want out of a speaker and then what to go and buy. So the first part of this series we're going to be comparing single speakers one at a time and the way that we're going to do that is we're using a Zilla Fat Baby 1x12 cabinet. Now I've used the same cabinet on every test and we just switched out the speaker and we've mic'd that up with a Shure SM57 and an SE Electronics Voodoo VR1 ribbon. So a big thanks to Zilla for providing the cab to us and a big thanks to SE Electronics for providing the ribbon. Also thanks to Blackstar for providing their Series 1 100 1046L6 head to us for this series and we've been using uh, the Crunch Overdrive 1 and Overdrive 2 channels and the reason we've been using those is the song that we're going to be using sections from is by a band called The Dead 13 who've been into Hot Pole Studios before so they were good enough to come down and do guitar playthroughs for us of some of their songs one of which was their new single Demons and that is the song that we're going to be using so we're going to focus on kind of heavy rock, heavy metal as a sound. We're looking specifically at how heavy tones work when comparing speakers because comparing clean tones is a very different thing for a very different audience most of the time. And having listened to several speaker comparisons, I really felt that there just wasn't enough scientific comparison of really heavy stuff. I mean, sure, there's loads of different reviews and loads of different kind of variations of here's how this amp sounds on this these settings with this speaker and some of them sound great but how do you know that it's the speaker that's making that change or that it's the cabinet that's making the change or you know, how are you sure that the speaker is the right one for you and that's what I really wanted to boil down here so we're using four different clips from Demons so the first one is rhythm only, so that's just the rhythm guitars by Simon. Then there's a part where it's the rhythm guitar with a lead part over the top with quite a heavy kind of searing sound with a wah in as well, so that should poke out over the top. Uh, then uh, there's a section where it's kind of almost genty kind of single note stuff which then goes into a quad tracked section where that's four takes two from each guitarist really kind of hammering out. Uh, last but not least there's a solo section from uh, Steve from The Dead 13 and this was recorded live so if there are any little mistakes or anything in that this is a capture of what was live. So just to explain the signal chain um, Simon and Steve from The Dead 13 have their own 104 6L6 amps so what we did is we got them to set up in here in the live room exactly as they would for a show. Uh, so using their own pedal board and their own settings on their amps. And we took a photo of each amp and their settings. And we took a DI out. For Steve we used my Groove Tubes Tube DI box because this thing is absolutely fantastic. If you've ever used one of the red DI boxes those big red tube DI boxes. This is pretty much that. Uh, you can't find one of these anymore, but believe me, they're incredible. And for Simon, we used the biggest DI box I've ever seen, an Avalon U5. Now this thing is absolutely incredible as a DI box. I don't think you're ever gonna get any more accurate a signal. So that's always my kind of recommendation. Whenever you're recording anything and you plan on using the amp sound again, or reamping, use the best DI sounds that you can get. Now for pretty much all the distortion, uh, the lead player, Steve, was using a Tube Screamer. 
on all of his tracks and a wah on the lead parts. And Simon was using a Boss Adaptive Distortion, which I thought was a little odd, but I asked him about it, and he's using it in very much the same kind of way as a Tube Screamer, but because it's got separate low and high controls, he's got a little more kind of control over it. When playing these uh, tracks back, we played them through a Radial Pro Reamp box, which I've done a review on that before, and that's I'll see if I can link that here. And that went straight into the front of the Black Star with the settings that those guys had. And that went through, properly impedance matched by the way, depending on whether the speaker was 8 ohm or 16 ohm, we made sure the amp was set properly for the speaker. And then that was mic'd up inside the Fat Baby, which is an open back cab, which I thought was quite surprising, but I'm going to do a separate video on open versus closed back, and it turns out that the open back actually works really well for metal, which quite surprised me, but it is definitely a testament to the build quality of Zilla's cabs. As you can see, I've got three of them here. Um, Zilla have loaned us the use of the Fat Baby, but the Fat Boy down here is mine. And the Studio Pro up here was mine, but my uh, assistant and editor Chris has since taken this from me. It's not going anywhere, so between the two of us we are firm believers in Zilla's cabs. They are absolutely spot on. And SE Electronics, we got in contact with those guys for the ribbon because we've used the R1 ribbon before and we've used the SE1 and SE5 uh, small diaphragm condensers and my main vocal mic for performance is an SE Gemini 2 and that thing's absolutely perfect for a big fat rock vocal so we got in contact with them and said hey do you want to get involved and there it is so uh, when we do each comparison we're going to do separate videos on these so it's got the four uh, track types that I mentioned and then afterwards we're going to play the guitars in a mix because I thought that would be really important that not only can you hear this is a guitar sound that's a guitar sound. They're all well and good, but when you pick your favourite one, what happens when you then put that in a mix? You may well find that it doesn't do what you thought it did when there's crashing drums and there's a vocal screaming over the top and the bass is holding down the low end, so maybe you don't need as much of that ultra low end as you thought you did. So the rhythm, rhythm and lead and the quad track sections are then going to be played back with the full mix. So you can compare them in situ, because that's just as important, especially for a studio. It matters more to us what it sounds like in the mix than it what it does on its own. I mean, yes, you might prefer a certain sound from a speaker on its own, and if you only ever play on your own, that's one thing, but if you play in a band and you intend to record an album, that's a very different situation. So I wanted to make sure that you guys knew exactly what was going on there. The speakers we're going to be comparing, we've got quite a few. So we've got the Vintage 30, which is going to be our base for comparison. Uh, but we've got an 8 ohm and a 16 ohm Vintage 30, so we're going to do a video comparing the two, because they do sound a little different from each other. Um, the Creamback series, we've got a Creamback M, which is the medium magnet, which is a 65 watt speaker. A Creamback H, which is a 75 watt speaker, but it's got a different tone, it's got a much heavier magnet. We've got the Creamback... Neo, which is a new one, which Celestian sent to us, and thank you to Celestian. This weighs nearly nothing, and I'm going to do a separate video on this one, because it's uh, a very different application for a lot of people, but it doesn't sound that different from the other Creambacks. Uh, we've got the Lynchback, which is the George Lynch speaker. We've got the uh, EVH, so the Eddie Van Halen, and we've got a K100, the G12 K100, which is this big fat one down here, and that's an absolute monster, which didn't actually give me the result I was expecting. So we've got four, five, six, seven, eight speakers in total to get through, so that's quite a lot. And then after we've shown you all those videos, um, I decided to then start swapping out microphones. So I'm going to do a mic comparison series, and then going to do a mic comparison series where it's an SM57 plus second microphone, then, and it just keeps going, then we're going to do a series which is two speakers, one's a vintage 30 and one is question mark extra speaker. So just to see what happens when the two react. That's another reason, by the way, that we used a 1x12, is that if you use two or four different speakers in a cabinet, 
the reaction inside the cabinet between the speakers can affect the way that just one speaker sounds when you mic it up. So to eliminate the possibility of any of that, to make this as crystal clear as possible, that's why we went with a 1x12. So I hope you don't mind and you're like, oh, you should use the 2x12 or a 4x12. The reason is we wanted to show you what each separate speaker sounds like. And having Celestian send us four of each speaker was overkill. That wasn't really doable. So what we're going to do in this video is just at the end of this, I'm going to play you the 8 ohm vintage 30 as the sections were so that you can get an idea. That's what we're going to consider our reference because a lot of people have a vintage 30 and a lot of people use them in their stock amps so they know exactly how they sound. So without further ado, Here's the Vintage 30. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you look forward in the next few weeks and months to the rest of the series coming out. They're not all going to have this long talking section, which is why I wanted to get this out of the way now. And thanks for watching, and get in touch with us about mixing, mastering. Uh, hit like button and subscribe if you want to be up to date with all the uh, comparison videos as they come out, because we want you all to see them. Thanks for watching. See you soon. One more thing, uh, Zilla are going to be giving away one of these 1x12 Fat Baby cabs. So um, listen to all the speaker comparisons that we've done and have a listen, decide what your favourite one is and then go to the Zilla Facebook page, I'll put a link in the description below and tell them what your favourite speaker was out of these and you'll be in with the chance of winning that cab with that speaker in it.